everyone. Today we are going to make those fancy little vapor shower discs. They're not really all that difficult. You just need baking soda, two to three cups, um, some of these little cupcake liners, um, cupcake tins with said liners in them, water. This is probably way too much water. I've got three cups here. Um, I always use distilled water when I make any sort of beauty product because I don't want any extra junk in it. Even spring water has minerals and that sort of thing, so I just always use distilled water make sure it's nice and pure. Um, today I have Honeysuckle Fragrance Oil. This is not an essential oil. This is just a perfume oil, but I love the smell of it, so I thought I would use it today. If you wanted to make something, say for a cold, which um, if I sniffle, you'll know that I'm coming down from a little cold here, but if you want to make something for a cold, you can use eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender, equal parts of those, instead of, you know, the fragrance oil. But I'm using a fragrance oil today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got, in here, I've got three cups of baking soda. You can do two to three cups of baking soda. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add water to sort of make a paste. So you're going to do it slowly. Um, and I'm just going to mix with my hands because it's easier that way. Um, you want to mix it till it's sort of a paste-like consistency, <clears throat> kind of like putty. Um, so this, this is interesting. I have a feeling this is going to sort of be a, a personal preference kind of thing. Um, I feel like this is almost okay as it is and I've only used maybe a half a cup of water. So, um, I'm going to add a little bit more just to see, hey, if I mess it up, I'll just add more baking soda. Um, so go ahead and get this all mixed together into your paste. If you catch me looking off to the side, it's because my cat keeps wandering back and forth here trying to figure out what I'm doing. <clears throat> Which, I don't know, you might hear him too. He just meowed. But, okay, so this seems, this seems kind of, kind of pasty to me, I guess. Not putty-like, really, but pasty. I mean, I don't know. To me, putty seems like it would be, um, like silly putty. And I don't think it's supposed to be quite that moldable. So anyway, this seems like a good consistency to me, so that's what I'm going to work with. So once you've got your water all, once you've, <laughs> once you've got it all mixed in, then you're going to add your essential oil. Um, I'm going to do about 60, I'm sorry, about 45 drops of essential oil. Um, this is going to be a personal preference thing as well, or not essential oil, my fragrance oil, but this is going to be a personal preference thing as well. I would recommend starting out with, say, 45-ish drops of oil, <clears throat> and then increase from there if you feel, okay, it didn't, if there wasn't enough fragrance, it wasn't strong enough, you can sort of change from there. But for your first batch, I really would highly just recommend trying 45 drops and go from there. Um, Keep in mind, if you do use an essential oil instead of a fragrance oil, that those can sometimes be more irritating to the skin than a fragrance oil. Than a fragrance oil. So be extra careful if you add more drops. Do a patch test if it's, if it's lotion or balm or something like that just to be on the safe side. This, of course, is a shower disc, so it's not going to be going on your skin. So you can probably, you know, go a little more buck wild with the oils than you would if it was a lotion or a soap. But just keep in mind, if you're doing something for skin, you want to be really careful. So I'm going to take my little pipette here and uh, count out my drops, which I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, but my cat just... Uh, he just protested in the background, but here we go. So let me count these out really quickly. Ten. <laughs> this is going to be hard to try not to have dead time here while I'm counting, which actually I just completely lost count. All right, so that's approximately 45. <clears throat> now, whenever I'm making any sort of 
beauty product. The other thing that I like to do is I like to use glass um, because plastic tends to keep the fragrance of what you first put in it. So, um, whereas with glass, it you can wash fragrance out a lot better than you can in plastic. Then you're just going to mix this all together. Um, I also prefer to use metal things um, when I'm working with fragrance instead of plastic. Again, because of that tendency of plastic to keep the smell of what you first used with it on it. It can also sometimes, depending on the strength, if you will, of the oil that you're using, it can sometimes actually melt the plastic. So glass is just much better, much better to use. I also recommend having separate tools. So <clears throat> this bowl I use for beauty products this measuring cup, the spoon, etc. I use for beauty products. It doesn't get used in the kitchen. Um, just, again, just to be on the safe side. You don't want to um, potentially ingest something that you shouldn't. And I don't know, this honeysuckle oil smells great, but I don't think it would taste very good. So, All right, so once you get it kind of all mixed in there, <clears throat> you're going to start, you're going to go ahead and spoon it into your muffin pans. So, <clears throat> got the first one here all set up and ready. Now, uh, the spoon is going to be kind of small, I think. Yeah. Um, you'll spoon it into each cup, and the amount that you put in is really kind of up to you. Um, I'm going to go maybe about halfway, three quarters. Um, yeah, I think my hands are going to work better than anything else. So you're going to pack it in there. Kind of making sure that you flatten it out on top so it's got a nice even um, surface to it. I think these would be a really cool idea if um, you did something where you did homemade gifts for Christmas. Uh, I think this would just be so cool because you not only did you make it, which alone is awesome in my opinion, homemade Christmas gifts, but you can tailor it to anybody's personal preference. Find out what somebody's favorite fragrance is and um, and go ahead and make it with that. <clears throat> now, as far as where you can go to get fragrance oils or essential oils, my honeysuckle oil that I have here is from a local health food store. So I would definitely give the health food stores a try first. And then otherwise, um, I have ordered essential oils and fragrances from a website online called Camden Gray. And uh, I'll put their link down in here for you at the bottom so that you've got that. And this makes a decent amount of, um, of product here. So it looks like I'm going to need at least one more muffin tin. I mean, I guess I could pack these a little bit more than I, than I am. Um, but I'm still going to need another muffin tin. Looks like my cat's given up on me. He's wandered away now. So there's one set and ready to go. I had some backups here just in case. I didn't line them though, so. <clears throat> Got a line here. And these, these liners will make it a lot easier for you to pop them out when they're all set. Which honestly is another reason to not fill them to the brim because if you need to, you can, you know, grab hold of the liner and pull it out. So just another reason not to, I probably shouldn't have pulled it out just now, but so we'll go ahead and fill these. Now, once you get them all filled, 
Um, there's no real special storage requirements. Um, you just want to let it sit undisturbed for 12 to 18 hours. Um, I like to err on the safe side, so I'm going to let mine sit for 18 hours. I like to give things the maximum amount of time that they need to, to solidify, congeal, whatever. So... And then the way you use these is you'll just put it in the bottom of the shower when you take your shower and as the water hits it and as it dissolves, the fragrance will be released up in the shower, which is why this is excellent for um, aromatherapy type purposes. Um, so again, that cold remedy, rosemary, eucalyptus, and lavender. Um, essential oils, perfect for if you've got a cold. <clears throat> Actually, that's not enough to fill a cup, so we'll go there. So I've got six, um, <clears throat> I've got 11 cups full, basically. So, again, well, <laughs> I've, got, I've got maybe 10 and a half cups full. It's close in the little muffin pan here. So, so when you do this project, you'll want to have two muffin cups just to be on the safe side. Um, so, and then here, I'll just try to show you here the final product. <clears throat> so here it is. Here's kind of what it's going to look like. Once you've got it in your muffin tins, it's very kind of wet right now, sort of liquidy looking. Um, again, you're going to let it set for 18 hours. And um, once that's set, I will show you what they look like. We'll pop them out <clears throat> and we will maybe experiment a little, throw them in water, see how they dissolve. Because I'm not taking you in the shower with me. Sorry, guys. So we'll be back in about 18 hours. All right. Thanks. All right, well, welcome back. It's been about, well, about 24 hours, honestly. Um, at about 21 hours, I pulled one out. So you can kind of see, I pulled one out and took a shower. Well, actually, I have a confession to make. I pulled one out. We're going to take one out of, the, out of the smaller tray. This was the one I made when I was starting to run out of stuff. Um, oops, yep, that's the one I... Okay, so, so I pulled one out, pull it out like that, no problem. Um, the, the muffin paper peels off, I mean it doesn't even stick at all, which I was kind of worried that it might be sticky for some reason, I don't know why, but. So I'm very excited this morning, you know, showing my husband how fabulous these are, and I'm thinking, wow, I said to him these are really thick, and they're really hard, and boy, I don't know if this is going to melt in the shower. And as I'm telling him this, I'm squeezing it. And that's exactly what it did all over the floor. So one thing to keep in mind is they're not as hard as they look. Um, that being said, um, that's a good thing because you want it to dissolve in the shower. So I took one into the shower and I'd say my shower was maybe 20, 30 minutes. And I started out with it at the front of the shower, sort of just beyond the curtain of the water as it came out of the shower head. So not under direct water, but sort of behind it. And because I don't wear these in the shower, I couldn't see what the heck was going on with it. So I ended up um, scooching it down to the back of the shower behind me. Um, so that I could at least bend down without getting a face full of water so that I could look at it to see how well it was melting. Um, obviously when it was up front, the front of the shower gets more water, so it was melting a little bit faster up there. When I moved it with my foot, it was a little squishy. Um, at the back of the shower, it doesn't melt quite as quickly. It still gets water exposure there though, so it was still melting. By the end of my shower, I had um, you know, just a little, a little lump left of baking soda and I sort of squished that around with my foot and that was good. It dissolved all was well, didn't leave any sort of residue on the shower, which I, I worried about just because of, you know, the oils that we used in it. Um, that being said, 
Um, <laughs> little distracted, sorry, the cats are now fighting in the background, so, um, <laughs> I, I think they think every time I take the camera out and set it up that it's somehow playtime, so, anyway, that being said, um, the fragrance of it in the shower was strong enough. I wouldn't want it any stronger than it was personally because I like the idea of the fragrance sort of being a background note in the shower, something to enjoy in the steam, but not to overpower everything. So um, I liked that. One warning though, after I made these yesterday, the entire house smelled like honeysuckle. I mean, we just, we couldn't get away from it. Um, so whatever fragrances you use, make sure you actually like them um, because you will be smelling them for a while. So I kind of already showed you this in my little example of the carnage that I caused this morning when I was talking to my husband. I mean, it was all over the carpet, but it's baking soda, so not a big deal. We vacuumed it up. Hey, it might work if you crumble it up as a carpet deodorizer. I mean, that's basically what those fancy um, store-bought carpet deodorizers are. They're baking soda and fragrance. So there's another thought for how to use this stuff. Um, so when you pull them out, I basically just, like I said before, um, grabbed the muffin paper, pulled it out like that. Like I said, this pulls off nice and easily. Um, I was a little concerned because these are really thick and when you buy store-bought shower discs, they're a fraction of this size. I mean, this is, you know, half a muffin <laughs> here, really. So, um, but like I said, 20, 30 minute shower, it dissolved pretty well. There was only a small amount of it left in the bottom of the shower and it's baking soda. so swish it around and it dissolves, no big deal. What you might wanna do if you're giving these away as gifts is actually just um, keep them in the little muffin paper and then um, you can put them in a cool jar. Like I have these little jars here, which actually I couldn't use these because they're too big. But um, I like the idea of glass better than taking um, a plastic zip ziplock bag or a plastic gift bag or something like that plastic is a horrible terrible thing so glass is much better um, it's reusable over and over again plastic ends up in our oceans and in our fish and then in us so um, I try my best to stay away from plastic I'm not perfect plastic is just too darn useful but anyway so um, no more diatribe about plastic um, I thought about what would happen if, because these are so crumbly, I thought, well, maybe they just need more time to dry. So I am going to actually just leave these in the pan as they are, let them sit for another day just to see if that does anything to the consistency of them. I don't really mind that they crumble the way they do. I don't think it's a big deal, but if that's something that bothers you, um, try letting them sit a little bit longer. Potentially try using a little bit less water when you make the actual mixture. That may be the problem. I may have used too much water. I think total, I ended up using three quarters of a cup of distilled water. Maybe that was too much. Um, so I think these would also work really well as sort of a bath bomb. Obviously, I don't think they're going to fizz quite as much as those bath bombs do, but um, pop them in the bathtub when you're, when you're soaking and the smell will just, you know, permeate the bathroom um, really nice. And baking soda has no harmful effects for your skin as far as that goes, you know, for soaking in it. So no harm, no foul there. Um, so... If you try this out, I would love to know what you do differently. If you do anything differently, how they turn out for you, please post in the comments below. Let me know how it works. Let me know if you have any suggestions for, you know, some of the issues that we've had here. And, um, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching and we will, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.